Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome to a special bonus episode of Let's Play Majora's Mask! Today, we're back in the 3DS version of the game to take on the Temple Bosses, this time with the Fierce Deity Mask. And most of them are considerably different than in the Nintendo 64 version of the game. So let's see, first thing we need to do is take a loan from the bank so I can go get drunk at the bar. Well, I don't know if the Chateau Romani would actually get you drunk, but it couldn't hurt where we're going. But all right, yeah, got to Well, I was going to say, is that alone, technically? Because I'm going back in time, and that's not r really my money that I'm getting there? I don't know. But in any case, yeah, I figure I might as well do this on screen here, since I can just directly advance the clock to 10 p.m., unlike the... Nintendo 64 version, unfortunately. Oh, uh, can we? Hmm. I thought I could, like, speed up that thing or just kind of skip past the animation there, but... Well, in any case, put on the Romani's mask and we're good to go. Okay, so... Oh, right, sorry. Wrong hat there. Yeah, you have to wear Romani's mask in order to buy anything, though they won't just kick you out right away. But in any case, okay, yeah, we got that. We're gonna need the Chateau Romani so we can use all the sword beams with the Fierce Deity mask. And, well, it couldn't hurt with the Goron mask or Zora mask there. Well, I don't need the Zora mask, but other than, like, to get in the dungeon. If any of your patrons wonder why I'm, like, flying through the ceiling and gigantic wings are sprouting out of my back, just tell them they're drunk. Don't, don't worry. Don't question it. But all right, yeah, let's, uh, get this show on the road then. Hopefully I can remember these songs. Well, this one's really easy. It's always the new wave bossa nova that screws me up there. I'll probably have to look it up, but oh well. Oh yeah, that reminds me. On the temple there, you might notice compared to the Nintendo 64 version, there's a little outlet there from where the Deku flower is on the other side. Yeah, they, I guess they put that there because the jump is a little, or well, the flight is a little close for comfort there in the Nintendo 64 version. But in this version, not so much. So I approve of the change. Not that it really matters. I mean, it's not hard to do, but... Okay, yeah, let's get our Fierce Deity mask on. I like the color on the Link's clothes when he's wearing the mask. Not to mention a little bit of uh, plate mail there, the gauntlets, or whatever he's got going on. For boss time against Odawa. Now, this one is very similar to the Nintendo 64 version of the game. Whoop. So basically, you just kill him. Now, but you saw there at the beginning, I think I was able to demonstrate it a little, where if you just try shooting your sword beams at the guy from the very start, he'll just block them. So basically, just wait for Odawa to drop his guard, or jump in the air, or whatever. Start spamming your sword beams. By the time he lands on the ground, he'll be stunned. Do your jump attack, and you're good to go. Hooray! Now, that was one thing I noticed in when I was practicing earlier today and defeated Odawa. The... I think the teleporter wasn't in the very middle of the room there. Maybe I, it was because I killed Odawa in the middle of the room? I don't recall specifically. But yeah, I mean, I would think it would always be in the same place, but maybe there's some factors that change that. I don't know. But, huh. Yeah, I never really paid attention to that either. Excuse me, princess. I've got uh, business to take care of. Let's see. Okay, so now let's get our Goron mask going there. We're going to need fire arrows or just any arrows at all would be nice. I've got plenty of magic. Just... Yeah, n no arrows, but we'll get them soon enough. Okay, so... Oh, no, not there. Snowhead. Maybe there's some arrows in the snow here from my lack of practice. Oh, there we go. 
I actually didn't think there were arrows there. But, uh, okay. Oh, wow. Surprised I got that in there. I thought I played the notes a little too fast. Sometimes it is like that. Where I can play the song perfectly, but it's just too fast for the game to catch it. Did he fall asleep a little faster this time? I kind of feel like he did. Because, like, usually I thought he was just like, and then falls asleep or something. Maybe it's because it's, like, nighttime now and it's his bedtime or something. I don't know. Or I don't know how Goron circadian rhythms work. But, uh, okay, let's see. Whoa! <laughs> Watch the... Got a little haircut on that one. Okay, so, yeah, once you've got the spikes going, you don't need to hold forward anymore while you're rolling around. Just... Okay, that's enough. Whoop! A little early on that one. Man, I have really got to work on my timing for that. Well, it's a little late for that now. But, anyway, yeah, I think I'll just, uh, walk the rest of the way. I could use the bunny hood. Whoa. But, uh, I'd rather, uh, have the Guan Mask to uh, punch these snowballs. There we go. Yeah, just gotta warm up a little bit. Yeah, you might notice there's that little fence up there, too. That wasn't in the Nintendo 64 version, but, okay, yeah. Just slow and steady, get to the end. And, yeah, let's go take on this guy again. And this fight, in my opinion, is considerably easier in the 3DS version compared to the Nintendo 64 version. At least with the Fierce Deity Mask, anyway. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh... Yeah, might as well get our bunny hood going here for a moment. Let's see if I can do the little transformation glitch this time once I, uh, free go. So I'm gonna go for the Fierce Deity Mask immediately after shooting. Okay, let's see if I, uh, pressed it in time. Just a little glitch that can happen with any transformation mask. For boss time! Nope, didn't get it. Sometimes you'll, like, start transforming in the middle of the cutscene there, and it'll freeze everything. Now, unlike the Nintendo 64 version of the game, I actually want to oppose Goat in the direction he's moving. So he'll get over here sooner or later. Haha! So yeah, in the Nintendo 64 version, you can do this, but the problem is that he moves so so quickly that uh, what is it? He'll just like try to impale you with his horns there. Oh, did I get him? No, I I don't think I did. Oh yeah, I did. I did. Okay. I knew that. So just, yeah, keep on going with those sword beams and shooting that eye as it keeps on coming. You can just basically spam and that's it. So yeah, the thing with this particular version that makes this strategy more viable is that what you do is you hold down the L button so you don't have a target lock and then you can just start spamming your sword beams as he's charging for towards you and you can knock him down and he gets stunned there whereas in the nintendo 64 version you can't stun him with those sword beams there at least as from what i recall there so that it doesn't work nearly as well i mean you can do it in the nintendo 64 version but i think it's just easier to go along the outer ring there and get goat to stop which, uh, yeah, Goat won't just stop in this version of the game. He'll shoot lightning out of his ass. And bombs and all that. But, uh, okay, we're done with our business here. Let's go to Zora Cape and the Great Bay Temple. Now, this one is going to be the most difficult one for me to pull off. It is possible to defeat Georg with just the... Fierce Deity Mask for your damage. I'm going to need some ice arrows while I'm doing that, but it can be done. I don't think I've ever seen a YouTube video do it with the Fierce Deity Mask, but I've seen it done with... What was the other thing? I've seen it done with the 
with the arrow, just regular arrows, not the fierce deity mask. But uh, okay, so let's see, we got that going. Let's get our song on. Let's see. Okay. Oop. There we go. <laughs> Took me a moment to remember all those notes. Oh well. At least I didn't have to look it up. Don't want to go for a swim in the sea of shame. But, uh, okay, yeah, we got that going there. You can't just, uh, what is it? You can't just hookshot onto the island to get going before playing the New Wave Bossa Nova. And you can't just go over there, play it while on the island, and then... Uh, get things moving with that. So you have to be next to Lulu, so that way the song will restore her voice. And we can get over here for a little cutscene. So, yeah, I didn't get this in the first two dungeons, because I had already returned there. But in this case, yeah, we uh, get that going. But I don't want to go in there just yet, because pulling off the Fierce DD Mask strategy is extremely difficult. It will take me several tries in order to pull off. I've only actually done it once and it, requ it requires flawless execution. So let's give it a try and I'll cut to whenever my successful attempt is. Okay, take seven. Yeah, this is gonna take a lot of attempts. <laughs> I like how I got the sword to bonk off the wall this time. I just love that ping sound it makes. It's very satisfying. And I like doing jump attacks in midair or to deflect myself onto a platform like this one for boss time against Gior. Now, the first phase of the fight is really easy. Especially if you can see him underwater, which, for some reason, it seems a lot easier for me to do that now. I don't know why. Maybe it's just having more experience with the game and I, can, I know what to look for better now or how to handle the camera angle. But anyway, yeah, if you can, get a target lock on him and you can easily hit him down into the water. Otherwise, if Gior goes up to the surface and he's just too far away, you can hold the L button and press the B button to shoot a sword beam without a target lock. Otherwise, hit the eye three times, then he's going to destroy the platform, and the real boss fight begins. So first, get off this silly looking mask, create a nice platform, and look around for wherever Georg is going then. Okay, let's see, I might be able to get in a shot here. Let's see. Nope. Nope, he's too far underwater. Or not high enough out of the water. But, uh, okay, yeah, now I can get a lock. Probably just get in one hit here. I could have gotten a second hit there. I might have been able to do that. But if I did, he'd be so far away from me that I wouldn't be able to get a target lock on the eye. Yeah, he's too far. You know, just be patient. Let him uh, either come to you or get more ice platforms to get closer to Georg there. And then we'll see what we can do. And don't fall in the water. Once you fall in the water, it's all over for this strategy. But it is possible to defeat Georg without... or with only using the Fierce Deity Mask for your damage there. Now I'm still a little too far away little closer. Okay, now I can get a lot. Aha! There we go. Okay, one down, two to go. This strategy does require quite a bit of luck to pull off, because you need Georg to not destroy your platforms, which sometimes he'll just randomly do, and you're it's all over. Aha! Alright. Yeah, now he's pretty far away, though. Probably gonna need two or three... Yeah, I'm gonna need three ice platforms 
just to get close enough to get a target lock. But even then, you still gotta get pretty close to be able to even hit the eye, because if you're on too sharp of an angle, then, uh, what is it? You won't be able to hit the eye. Uh, let's see. Now, yeah, I thought he was going underwater again. Uh-oh. Not Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. I can't believe I recovered from that. I never do. But, okay, where are you going? I think he's coming up to the right there. Okay. Yes! Yes! Woo! Oh, man. That is so, so hard to pull off the strategy there. Only using the Fierce Deity Mask for damage. Whew! All right. Now we're talking. Unfortunately, I don't think you can do or defeat Twin Mold with the Fierce Deity Mask. I'll do what I can, and I do want to show off something else while we're doing that. But, uh, what is it? The Red Twin Mold, I think it's pretty much immune to your sword beams, whether you try to hit the head, the segments, or the tail itself, or whatever. But all right, so yeah, the strategy that I used there for Georg was based on the speedrun strat that I mentioned before, using the arrows, but obviously instead of the arrows, I'm using the Fierce Deity Mask for it, so I had to modify how I would handle hitting Georg. Oh, I was like, what the hell's happening? <laughs> that was a weird time for cutscene to start playing okay let's try that again it's like what did my uh, light arrow somehow make the sun come out or something well maybe but I do need the dungeon to be flipped over okay so let's see let's get let's get the giant's mask going sorry for the sound cutting out there and let's see. Eventually, I will need some arrows. But I will see what I can do. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that ought to be good enough. And let's get inside, then. I can defeat the blue twin mole with just the fierce deity mask. But it's extremely difficult. If I mean, I suppose it's possible. But I can't pull it off. I mean, I, I'll show you a few hits that I can do on the blue twin mold but in general yeah it's prob well it's not happening <laughs> because i mean well even then i mean i could try and maybe practice enough to take down the blue twin mold with only the fierce deity mask but i can't damage the red twin mold at all anyway so what's the point of trying to do the blue one if I can't do the red one too? So, but I will show you what I can do, at least with my current knowledge. Maybe someday a speedrunner will figure something out with this, or anyone, but that is not for me today. I could not figure out a way of using the Fierce Deity Mask only, unfortunately. For boss time! against Twin Mold. Now, one thing about this fight is that's different from 4 is that we can use the Giant Mask from the beginning. You could use it to try and attack the Red Twin Mold, but if you do that, even if you damage it enough to knock it down, you still won't be able to, uh, what is it? Or what is it? You still won't be able to uh, knock it or damage it because once you knock it over then it will dive into the sand immediately and recover all of its health. So you can't defeat the blue or the red twin mold first. Let's see what I need to do is get a target lock on the head of the blue twin mold and then you saw how I already got rid of two of those eyes on its underbelly there by targeting 
the head and then shooting my sword beams in that direction as it's flying over me. And if I don't get hit while I'm doing that, I can take out some of the eyes there, but now it's just too far away. So I'll give this a couple more tries, but if I can't get that third one there, then I'll just use the arrow because I'm going to have to use it sooner or later anyway. Yeah, you got to be careful. Don't uh, target the tail. Don't target the tail. And don't target the other guy either. Let's see. Yeah, I think that that next one, that last one there, is just too far to the middle of the twin mold. Or, the yeah, the ice twin mold there. Whoa. And I can't get just the right angle to hit it. I'm trying to go up like that, but you can't really aim your sword beams there. And, yeah, it's just too far away to get it. I have done it before, but even if I could, I couldn't do it on the red one either. So, yeah, let's just take it down with the arrows. And, now, I can damage the eye with the Fierce Deity Mask, so we'll at least go with that. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Get over there. No, not that one. Ah, there we go. Okay, now this time the blue twin mold is going to have five eyes on its belly. So let's see how many I can get. Probably two, and that's it. Ha uh ha. -huh. Missed me. Ooh. Oh, get out of there. Ow. Okay, let's see. Yeah, another thing you could do is try to hit the eyes while the twin mold is coming out of the ground. But again, you have to have a really, really good angle on that. And if you screw it up the first time, that's pretty much it. Oh, wow. I'm surprised I was able to hit that part of the tail. But, uh, oh, no, I don't want to go up like that. There, it, there does seem to be some amount of room to, like, you see how, yeah, like how I'm hitting it to the left like that with the sword beam. So, like, I have a target lock, and so I'm shooting upward, but then if I hold, like, to the left or to the right, I can kind of direct the sword beams a little bit, but I don't know precisely how it works. Yeah, you see how that one there shot off to the left like that? But I don't know how to do that intentionally, so, okay, yeah, that's, that's enough there. I've demonstrated the method, but it's not going to happen for the whole thing. So. Oh, I'm surprised I got two of them. Oh. Yeah, we'll just uh, wait a little bit for you. Or we could keep on going. Why not? Uh, so yeah, let me get some more arrows. Ow! Man, that guy's always like darting for me off screen while we're at it, too. Okay. Now you could also take on or take down the blue twin mold with the giant's mask if you wanted. It would be essentially identical to the red twin mold. You just hit it a bunch of times, and then uh, yeah, swinging around by the tail. Or you could choke it out too, like a pro wrestler, MMA, or whatever you watch. I wouldn't know. Yeah, I know. That's a real shock to your viewers. Okay, where are you? Okay, yeah. Let's uh, get out of this one and go to the giant's mask because I can't damage the red twin mold at all, unfortunately. Oh, wow. I'm surprised I was able to hit the guy there. Well, let's see what we can do. Now, with these little guys, you could just roll right over them instead of, like, trying to aim for them or use your, uh, what is it, your fist on them. Woo, four hits, nice. Unless he's going to dive again. Okay, three more. Unless he dies. Whoop, okay, yeah, now he's going to dive. Yep, start all over there. Whoops. Maybe I should have gone for one of the boulders, but... Uh, I thought I could get him, but alas, I could not. The first two were good. 
But uh, yeah, the third cycle, not so much. Okay, come on. Toro, Toro. Aha, all right. Yeah, you want the guy to go like just to the side. Of you. So don't be like dead center on the guy. Okay, there we go. Got the hard one out of the way. Now I can use the boulders for the other two there. Uh, oh yeah, I was like, which side am I on? Say uncle! Say uncle! Well, whatever works. I'd make some, like, pro wrestling quote references, but I don't really know many of them, if at all. Oh, well. No, you're not gonna attack me? Okay. I guess because I kind of ran into the guy, maybe that counts as, uh, something. Okay, I'm not sure how that missed, but at least I still have my boulder. Haha! Gotcha! Yeah, I think I like rolling into the... whatever those smaller guys are. The smaller centipedes there. Haha! Gotcha! Whoa! Okay, where are you? Oh, yeah, I need to get the other boulder. Well, might as well roll over these guys. Okay, come on. One more. Haha! -ha, there we go. And when I missed the first one, I should have said just a bit outside. But I didn't think of it at the time. Oh well. Come on. Yes! Got him! Alright. And now I'll go for a little extra length on this episode so that I can show you uh, something else. Uh, so something some other people were telling me about was the swordmaster back at the uh, back at Clock Town there who had that one mini game for what was it the heart piece or something? Yeah, let's uh, get down to size a little bit there. Whoa, there we go. But uh, yeah, some people were saying that uh, H.C. Bailey, that guy has reactions to the masks just like the happy mask salesman did. So I figured I could uh, show that off. This is actually quite a bit quicker than with the Happy Mask Salesman because this guy doesn't go on and on forever about things. He just, I think he just has like one line for the different masks. I forget if he has any reactions to the, what is it, to the transformation masks. Well, I can't use the, yeah, the two masks that I got on right now, but well, we'll see what we can do. What do you got to say about my uh, bunny ears there, pal? Aww. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, he does have more than one line for some of the masks, I guess. But, okay, let's see what we can do here. Whoop, uh, no, no. Yeah, there we go. Let's try these ones on. Yeah, your next door neighbor, pretty much. Try this one on for size. Oh, I have a sword. Oh. Okay, is there a reason for that reaction? I don't know. Uh, sure, why not? Can you teach me the drunken mad cow technique? No. No, not in this game. Oh, okay. I'm not sure why you don't have the will for that, but okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure why this would be making fun of you, but... Okay, let's see what we can do there. But all right, let's, uh, yeah, get more of those going. All night. Mask. Why not? Oh, well, maybe. But it was pretty intense the last time, I guess. So, why not? Oh, okay. Can I... No, I can't get any special dialogue with that while playing the song. Okay, never mind. Oh. Oh, okay, never mind. Boo! 
<laughs> but, uh, how about I explode you? Oh, I've already done the bunny hood. Yeah, we'll just go with whatever we got. Why not? Oh, well, that may be. Can you see me? <laughs> I was wondering about that. Oh, okay. Well, why not? I need to learn a sword to do that, don't I? Thanks, I guess. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but okay. Okay, let's see. What else do we got here? You like frogs? No, apparently not. Oh, yeah, so someone did. Ah, okay. Never mind, then. Do you speak the truth? No? Okay. Never mind, then. Well, let's see what else we got here. I don't know if he has reactions to the other masks, but we'll see. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> no. No! Why not? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, water can be a pretty scarce material. Or something. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Okay, he does have reactions to these ones. Well, how about I punch you? And go right through your sword. But, uh, okay, one more. What do we got? Oh, I got a guitar. But, uh, well, okay, never mind then. But, okay, so that's all for Let's Play Majora's Mask. I hope you've enjoyed the whole LP. I do have a plan for my next LP. I'll probably make an announcement in the near future. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. And see you next Let's Play.